inverse function by reversing operations. I hope you have understood the concept which we discussed in the previous video. How to find inverse of a function by reversing the operations. Now let's do it and check our results, right? So here are four practice questions for us. Find inverse of the following functions by reversing the operations, right? So this is f of x given to us for a variety of questions and we will find their inverse by reversing the operation, right? And I hope with this you will understand 100% this concept of reversing operations to find inverse. Now, function f of x is given as 2x plus 1. It's a linear function. What are we doing here? We are multiplying the input by 2 and then adding 5. And the reverse will be what? Take away 5 and divide by 2. So, when you perform an operation, for example, in these cases, you are performing from left to right. Now, when we do reversal, go from right to left. So, that is first rule to follow. Go from right to left, right? These are some guiding steps for you. And what do you do? Reverse operation. This is what we will do and try to get our result. So, here is the first one. So, if I have f of x equals to 2x plus 5, then its inverse should be equal to what we will do? Minus 5 from x. We will do x minus 5 and then divide by 2, right? So, that is our answer. At times, you may like to write it as half of x minus 5 over 2 just to give you an idea that this is a line with a slope of half and y-intercept of minus 5 over 2. Let's do the next one. And try to do it along with me so that you gain confidence and you also enjoy the process. Now here the operation is we are dividing by 3 and then taking away 1. Reversal is add 1 multiply by 3. So let's add 1 and then multiply by 3. So that becomes our inverse of this function, right? Which, if you like to, you can write as 3 times x plus 3, where it is a line with slope of 3 and y-intercept of also 3. How about this one? Now, if you have to find inverse of this function, what should you do? What are you doing here? You are actually, first, if I give you an input, you will do cube of that input, then divide by 2, and then add 3. So what we will do now? Reverse. So reverse, that means if I give you an input now, you take away 3, right? And then you multiply by 2, reversal. Division reversal is multiplication. And then find the cube root. That should be your answer for this, correct? Now the last one. Last one is kind of tricky. And I'll write this one as inverse just. Since I know for this parabola, Parabolas are like this, and inverse of parabola is not a function, since they fail horizontal line test, correct? So, I am not writing f inverse of x. In any case, we should normally write f inverse like this, right? And if it is a function, then we should write f inverse x. That means we are saying that inverse is also a function. But if we write f inverse, then we are saying f inverse of given function, right? So, that is kind of nomenclature which we should follow. Now here, what is the reversal of this operation? First, let's see what the operation is. The operation is, in this case, what if I give you an input, what will you do? You will first take away 1, square that number, multiply by 3, and then add 4. So the reversal operation should be, take away 4, divide by 3, square root it, and then add 1. Correct? Is that so? So that is how it is. Let me write down this operation because there are many operations involved here. If I get an input x, what do I do? First operation is take away 1. Second operation is square it. And third operation is times 3. And the fourth operation is plus 4. So these are the operations in sequence performed to get f of x of the given function. So Inverse is reverse. So what will you do first? Reverse of plus 4 
which is minus 4. So we'll do x minus 4. And then instead of multiplying by 3, you will divide by 3. Correct? And then instead of square, you will do square root. And remember, whenever you do square root, you have to do plus and minus. Correct? Here, the next and the last operation is minus 1. So what should you do with this? Plus 1. So plus 1. So that is your answer for this particular function. So inverse of this function should be plus minus square root of x minus 4 divided by 3 plus 1, right? I hope you appreciate that this is a very easy technique to use and you can always apply this technique to at least check your answers. <laughs> this. If you know the path towards your school, then inverse will be just reversal of that path. Wherever you're taking left turn instead of left, take right. If you're going north, go south. So it's just a reversal of operation which gets you back to home. So think like this. So inverse of a function is getting back home. I hope that helps. Thank you.